सो हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल्स टुडे अगेन आई एम बैक विथ अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल्स है एंड दिस न्यूमेरिकल इज आल्सो फ्रीक्वेंटली एक्स्ड इन द फाइनल एग्जाम्स इन ट्रांसमिशन एंड डिजाइन सब्जेक्ट है सो हियर इन दिस न्यूमेरिकल्स वी हैव गिवन द डायमीटर कंडक्टर एज अ 22.3 22.26 mm गिवन डायमीटर है एंड डायमीटर ऑफ ऑर्सवेयर इज गिवन एज 14.6 mm एंड हाइट ऑफ टावर इज 32.65 मीटर्स एंड हाइट ऑफ इज कंडक्टर इज हियर S1 value of S1 is 11.24 meters. Similarly, S2 is given as 17.6 meters, and S3 is given as 23.96 meters. And line span is given as a 250 meters. And similarly, wind pressure is given as 100 kg per meter square. And here we have given the UTS means ultimate ultimate tensile strength of conductor is given as 10210 kg. And UTS of earth square is given as 6664. Kg and number of earth square is two. Similarly, number of circuit is two. And here we have to calculate the bending moment acting on the tower and weight of tower is acting on the tower and weight of the towers. And take eighty percent of towers are type A and fifty percent are type B and remaining are of type C. And the cost of steel required for the construction of tower is given as two by hundred per tons. So here, the very first step that we are going to do is here. First, we will calculate the wind force of conductors. Wind force on the conductors. So E F W C. So wind force on conductor is calculated as P W C into span length into two third of D C, and P W C is given as hundred means wind pressure is given as hundred. Similarly, span length is two fifty meters given in the question. And two third of DC, and diameter a conductor diameter is given as twenty two point two six mm. Sir, here we have given. Here line span is given as here two fifty meters, and the conductor diameter here conductor diameter twenty two point two six mm. Sir, and wind pressure here we have wind pressure is given as. 100 kg per meter square so here we have used these all values so pwc in the span length is 2/3 dc so if you use these values we will get here 371 kg similarly wind force on earth where so wind force on earth where is calculated as fwe is equals to pw into 250 means span length into 2/3 d and pwc is, is the same means 100 into 2 250 into 2/3 into d and d is given as 14.6 mm here we have given the value of d means the diameter of earth is 14.6 mm so so here we have the value for d is 14.6 mm so 14.6 into 10 by minus 3 will get here 243.33 kg And force due to turning of conductor EFTC equals to 2 TC into sine alpha upon 2. And so for 2 into TC upon 2, we have to since ultimate tensile strength is given, so for that we have to multiply with safety factors. And here we have assumed the safety factor as 2. So 2 into here we have 2 into UTS upon 2, and here 0.8 here we have given. Here, 80 percent of towers are of type A, 50 percent are of type B, and remaining are of type C. So here we have, for type A we have 80 percent is, so 80 percent is into sine 1 degree plus, and for type B we have 15 percent means 0.15 into sine 15 upon 2 means 7.5 degree, and the remaining is 5 percent means 0.05 into sine 15 degree here we will have means sine 30 upon 2. So two into ultimate tensile strength upon safety factor, and we have assumed the safety factor as two into this value. So if you calculate, we will get here four twenty four point five seven kg. Here in place of TC, we have here UTS. UTS upon two. And similarly, force due to turning of earth is FTE equal to two T into sine alpha upon two. So to so to T calculate as UTS upon two, and similarly same as the above value means this value. So if you calculate, we will get here three zero nine point seven five kg. 
now bending moment acting on the towers so for bending moment we have the formula as bending moment equal to force due to oh force due to add up conductors into s1 plus s2 plus s3 into nc plus here force due to earth wire and force due to turning up conductor into s1 plus s2 plus s3 into nc and force due to turning up earth wire into st into ne so this is the formula to calculate the bending moment acting on the towers and here we have just obtained the value for fwc similarly we have obtained the value for fwe and also we have obtained the value for f2c and also we have obtained the value for f2e and the remaining parameters these all are known in the are given, already given in the questions so just we need to substitute these values and calculate so if you substitute all the values and calculate we will get here 125393.7 kg meters so this is the bending moment and to calculate the weight we have the formula as to calculate weight we have to calculate the weight of tower we have the formula weight equal to 0 0.00631 into st into root under bending moment into f on and assuming safety factor as 2 so weight will be 0 0.00631 into and st the height of tower means st 32.65 given in the questions here we have given 32.65 And here we have given the height of tower as 32.65. So all the values are given, just we need to substitute the values and calculate. So here we have used 32.65 as the height of towers, and this is a bending moment in DFS. So bending moment just we have obtained as 12539.71. So into safety factor, safety factor is 2. So if you calculate, we will get 10.31 tons and the cost of one tower will be here. The cost of one tower is given as a 1200, means 12,000 per ton. So 12,000 into per ton, you have 10.3 ton, 10.31. So 12,000 into 10.31. So if you calculate, we will get here the cost of one tower as 1,23,807. So in this way, we can calculate such type of numerical problems. Hope you understand and enjoy the lectures. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channels. Thank you.